Rick and Decker. Decker, Decker. Decker, Decker. Rick and Decker. Let's try to get everybody to not listen. That way they won't realize it's a short episode oh, and they're getting yeah. ripped off. Well, just, what do you mean? Just give them a... Give them what? Give them a rock solid podcast like usual? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, baby. Yeah, welcome. It's a world record podcast, everybody. Yow. It's me, me man I don't know. I want to wear my hat, I think. Why? My mane of locks. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the World Record Podcast. It's your man, uh... Chan. I guess I'm not the B-man anymore. You're yeah, the man, Chan. I'm Chan. Is Aaron doing some last-minute adjustments? That looks good. Yeah. We'll be ready to go here in an hour or so, and then it'll be time to go home. <laughs> well, when great. did you get here? I get here on time every, mm-hmm, t- every time. Mm-hmm, so that's what not. I thought. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Well, we have a very important guest. Anybody, uh, does anybody here have um, a investment? Like, do you do you do stocks or anything, A-Train? Yeah. Oh, you do? I have a portfolio. What's your portfolio? It's all kinds of stuff. I mean, it's secret. You're not supposed to tell people. Or else they'll, inv- you know, they'll, they'll be in on all my tips. Apple, NASDAQ, you know, the Dow. Um, you know, Princess, have you ever heard of Princess Diameter, the fattest princess? In the land. Oh, yeah. I've heard of her. Yeah. She has a portly folio because <laughs> she's fat. She's married to the Prince of Wales. Did you know that? He's the fattest prince, I, have, yeah. I thought. Yeah. Well, that may, I'm well, glad for them. All you listeners out there, if you want to get to investing, maybe we could call. And what, how, who do you call to invest? invest? Shark Tank. Oh, yeah. Call Mark Cuban. Well, we have a guest here who. Uh, Our guest is going to invest. Well, okay. Do you want to do a rap about it? No, nah, no. We should get into our guest. Yeah, okay. Let's. Our this guest, guy. I mean, this guy's fascinating. This guy's fascinating. He's a and genius. He, he's a genius. He's invented so many modern businesses. He's an entrepreneur in, entrepreneur in every sense. In every sense. And uh, today, I mean, I had to get him on the podcast right away. He. We were texting last night, and um, to give you a hint of, of who, who our guest might be, be yeah. we were texting. Uh, last night and uh he said he has a new invention that's going to set the auto industry on its ear oh so ladies and gentlemen welcome to the uh podcast john m (laughs) yeah look at that he's looking i love his new uh, i like your bling john well he's uh hello yeah how's it going man (sighs) pretty good just uh Taking a moment, you know? Mm. Oh, you're doing uh, some meditation or something. Meditation. Yeah, you caught me kind of doing some of my my exercises. Well, that's okay. That's that's a good... A lot of people are doing things to delay the podcast today. So you take your time doing that. I've heard about a a new... I think I might sign our children up for this. It's breath work for children. Oh, really? Yes. Yes. You you get them to, to use as little air as possible. Oh, um, and it reduces your carbon footprint, oh. essentially. So it's something. Yeah. Where did that term um, come from? I'm working from? on a product that will basically take a little bit of the oxygen out of your home um, because we don't need as much as we're using. And uh, we need all the help we can get okay. on uh, planet so, Earth here. S- fly, well, space, fly. Spaceship Earth, I call it. Wow. You, so you're trying spaceship to. Spaceship Earth. Yeah. All right. Because it's technically a spaceship, I guess. Because right? it's like a spaceship. Yeah, we're traveling. With the whole, uh, there's a I hole. Forget in how it, it works yeah. exactly, but there's something. <laughs> I guess because we make spaceships on Earth. Oh right. Well, we're going through uh, space, right? We're traveling on spaceship on. Spaceship. It's as if as if the Earth is a ship because we're all on it, and, and there's a hole in, in it. space, and there is also. Well, a we hole make in the well. yeah, Grand we make Canyon. the ships on Earth. So. Is the Grand Can the Grand Canyon's technically a hole? Yeah. Right. Yes. That's so that would be like well, where does the hole come into play? I guess that's where I'm ship You're losing me because hole. it's a ship. But how does a hole oh, because of like where the jet engines come out or something? 
why does a hole have to be why does like how does a hole? i i i i don't know what she's talking about i mean i, I, I we're getting a little off track here and my time is very limited so oh, shit. Okay. i oh, okay. appreciate it if we could um Space either solve Earth. this quickly or thank move you for on calling the corporate offices of okay. investment group homeowners our office hours are monday through friday from 9 a.m to 5 uh, well i tried to get an investor on the line okay hmm. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. I want to work at a think tank. Do you think I could get a job there? John, uh, do you, have you ever been at a think tank? And what is the, um, I picture yes. it as like, it's kind of like, like you've been, have you ever been to a brew pub? Yeah. Well, you know how they have those big tanks that they make the beer in? Like, that's what I picture the think tank. I think people just swim around in it or? I don't it's know. a little John. bit like that. I mean, it is a pool of ideas. Um, and you kind of hop in and uh, you ever dive for pennies as a kid at the bottom of a pool? Yeah. Yeah, I was doing it actually last week. I still do that. You dive for pennies every Sunday. Yeah. We yeah, dive, we, we leave money. Uh, we leave money at the bottom of the pool. Uh, most of us do. Yeah. Um, and never pick it up. And a think tank is a way of getting together, figuring out as a team the best way to get to the bottom of the pool and get all that change and, because it's waiting there. But the I mean, there's so tank, much money that uh, that basically just waiting for you to pick it up. Yeah, exactly. But I guess what the question is, is are they swimming around in the think tank or do they have like, is there um, a f uh, scuba gear or whatever? Or a floaty maybe to keep them above the water? It's not actually... Uh, it's not actually a, a, a tank like that. It's, it's, it's a, have you seen Shark Tank? Yeah. Yeah. Is that's, that in a tank? At, at I the, think it's at in Long a tank. Beach. Yeah. yeah, at the Long Beach Aquarium. It's I saw not, a Shark Tank there. Oh, yeah. There's in a, yeah, they're in a tank at the aquarium. Mm -hmm. I right. think that's a okay, technical term for it, a tank. Else, but we can, we can. A we tank. Can and also, I guess tanks are used in war. Wow. Do you ever think of that? Not, that's true. Is that the kind of think about uh, what about this? Damn, dude, you could wear like, a you could wear a tank top, and you know what they call them? What a, what a cute nickname for it is? Wife beater. A wife beater. Think about that. Oh shit! So wait, are these guys all? Um, is the think tank co-ed? Is the first question because I don't know if there's misogyny going on with this. There, there is a long, long history of that. Yeah. But wow. these days, uh, you know, it's it's do you have the muscle? Do you have the drive? Mm. Do you have the 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 fearlessness that it takes to get in there? And you said uh, you said a tank for war. What about a show called War Tank? Ooh. And it's a bunch of military guys and you come in with different ideas for like a new grenade, a uh, a new way of killing people. Oh, sorry, uh, like John. Uh, we have uh, we have an investor on the line. Hi, I, is um hi. Is this the investment strategies? Yeah, how can I help you? Uh, we have. Well, we were just actually talking. We're uh, part of a think tank. Are you familiar with uh, that? I've heard of them. Like yeah, like at MIT and stuff like that. Yeah. 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 And that's, do you, did you, like, uh, what is your take on the think tanks? Do you think that they're swimming around in there? Or? <laughs> I don't know. It depends if they're sharks, maybe. We're, oh, okay. Oh, well, that tank. brings us to John. Uh, we have John. Yeah. Are you familiar with the text cafe? Do you remember the text cafe? The te text cafe? No, I'm not. I haven't heard of it. Is Aaron asleep Yeah, a series of restaurants in the, the greater Los Angeles area expanded to over... 50 locations across the country. So yeah, we've been, we've been around the block. <laughs> yeah. It was the te you would text everything with the restaurant. There was no like, uh, speaking. Yeah. It, it, oh. it took off during the oh, pandemic. Okay. Took off during the pandemic. Uh, yeah. No need for oh, okay. a QR code. Just text like you're texting your, your, your buddy and boom. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, one of the waitresses got murdered though from, that was not. That, I mean, that I think that un unrelated. had something to do with the downfall of the text cafe. But a waitress. Well, he was sold it. John made murdered. a fortune from selling the that text was at, cafe yeah. property. But he has a new He has a new business um, that we were gonna, uh, I guess, let you in on the ground floor on. Pitch to you, yeah. Yeah, if you're interested in. No, what, investing. No, what's that? John, do you want to? Uh, yes. Yes. Uh, uh, this is, uh, and when we're tooling around with different names for it, 
But essentially, you've heard of the self-driving uh, Teslas, uh, uh, that the, the, the technology yes, that, uh, that they have. Um, we're bringing that tech to your, your cellular phone, to your smartphone. And um, essentially, it's as easy as playing a, a video game. Um, you know, it, it maps out the entire city. We have a, a proprietary technology that we're using. But essentially, it becomes a bit of a kind of a chauffeur service. You can hop in the back seat of your own car, and from there, just using your phone, you can drive it all around the city. So, so what you're saying, John, is that there's no need for you to ever touch the steering wheel or the gas pedal or the brakes. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. And it's going to optimize your gas mileage. Um, it's going to optimize, uh, you know, it'll pick the best routes, that kind of thing. And so it gives you a kind of peace of mind. Oh, wow. What do you think of that? Well, sounds good. Sounds so, great. So this is so essentially because I know that being on your phone, like if you're on your phone while you're driving, that's frowned upon now. Uh, that's a no, no. Yes. Yeah. But, but we're we're turning that around, yeah, and that, so that is of, something that we have. Uh, we're putting together a proposal that will sort of address those concerns. Yeah. Um, you will not be able to receive texts, for instance, while you're operating. Well, but I would think car. that would be you a won't... good feature is to get texts because you're already on your phone. Like I, I thought you were just you're just kind of like flipping, doing a 180, where it's like now it's right more than acceptable to be on your phone. Well, what will happen is when you sign up for the program, you'll get a second device um, that basically will uh, will have a, a, a pop-up, kind of a heads-up display uh, with your text, with uh, your apps, you know, with your Netflix, whatever it is. Oh, okay. So that you'll you'll be able to uh, to kind so, of, it's a, it's a uh, well, two-screen experience. You've heard of those, I just right? had a... Uh, yeah. Invest, Investor Hellman has a question. Investor Hellman here. So... So the car's not self-driving, though. Like, you have to be operating the car with your phone. Yeah. But you don't have to be... Were you listening to him? I'm just, I'm just making sure because you, how, why would you be texting and stuff? if You still need to pay attention if you're driving the car. Yeah. Have, have you played a, a pole position? Have you played any, any you kind of driving Have you ever played a game, game on your phone up where you're kid? driving yes. on your phone? Yes. Well, that's yeah. essentially what he's bringing to, into the real world. All right. Well, but what I mean is like, yeah, I'm, I, do you think you're playing a game? Like, are you tricked into thinking you're playing no. a game? Well, I don't, I, well, sir, what do you think? Are you, is this something that maybe you'd be interested in investing in? Sir? Investor man. Investment strategies. Hello? All right. Well, he doesn't, uh, yeah, he just, doesn't want. I, I'm, I'm used to this. Oh, he hung up. I'm used to this. Yeah. What how many, how many people? How many people hung up on you when you were pitching the idea for the text cafe? I, I want to hear this exactly. inspiring story. Yeah. Exactly. Yep. Exactly. What was the? What was your other businesses? Health. The health net thing. Or texting. Something? Like texting your yeah, doctor uh, we had a, uh, a, a proprietary yeah. uh, a system where we had a port installed on the back of your oh, head. Oh yeah, we, that's we right. Put you one of to, these guys yeah. in the back, and uh, yeah, basically yeah. you could run your own programs, yeah. a bit like the Matrix, uh, that kind of thing. Gave some kind of uh, um, you know uh, a, a VR kind of aspect. Yeah. Uh, so, what, um, well, this is a great, and I think we'll explore this idea some more. This sounds like a really great idea, uh, your car driving. Thank you app. so much. What is, uh, what's, do you have a name for it? Maybe we could, maybe we could all kind of form a think tank. Because I also like the idea of war yeah. tank that you were getting into before the investor called. <clears throat> You know, that's how <laughs> it's funny. I come on here to talk about one thing and I have an idea. I mean, my, it's, it's I don't know where they come from. Mm -hmm. I'm blessed. Would know that I, I, I you know, I, I, I take that uh, privilege very seriously. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm happy to explore either of these. Some of the ideas I had for the name of this would be something playing on uh, kind of the popularity of the text cafe, okay. text a sleigh, I thought of no text, text roadway. Hold on. Hold, no. What do you mean? Text a sleigh? Like a Santa. You familiar with Santa and his yeah. sleigh, his magic sleigh? Takes him anywhere he wants to go in the world. 
I, Sound familiar? Yeah, sorry. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Sorry, that was a dumb question. Yeah, it was a dumb question. A little question. bit. It was pretty All dumb. right. I said they I'm sorry. Say, you know, there's a, there's a famous quote that says there's no such thing as a dumb question. Yeah. And that is wrong, that quote. Yeah, who said it? No one can remember. Probably him. some idiot who asks a lot of dumb <laughs> fucking questions. Mm. And so they're like, I better make a quote so people stop telling me that my questions are dumb. It's like the people who made the saying, don't judge a book by its cover. That was some evil motherfucker that you could tell he was evil just by looking or at him. Or dumb, a dumb person yeah, or, or just or some a dumbass or a whore. Yeah, a girl who looked like a whore. I mean, Maybe pretty that. much if a girl's dressed up like a whore, I mean, if she's dressed like a whore, like if you can see her ass hanging out and stuff, like you can no. probably have sex with her. You mean like without her consent? Well, I mean... Like no. you wouldn't have to ask because it's just assumed that she'd fuck. Cut. I mean, if your ass is hanging out, yeah, you can. Oh, what's John doing over there? <laughs> what do you think about judging a book by its cover, John? That's actually the only way to judge a book. Right? No. You can't say a book is good because you like the cover. Let's call a library. So, John, uh, you okay over there? Yeah, John, are you okay? I, I just, uh, I've come to a point in my life where if there's a moment I will take it and use it to to meditate it's a way of yeah. keeping my brain fresh I sleep only a couple hours a day um, right. and I, I spend the rest of the time creating so war tank it's what's, a show where they pitch yeah what's new the, grenades yeah yeah it's a, a picture this a, a panel of some of the top generals uh, people in the uh, uh, people in the military industrial complex. Um, you know, we pick a we pick a, a diverse group of, of of older guys, and we basically have some upstarts come through. Uh, how about let's bring some new ideas to the military instead yep. of just repeating the same stuff over and over and over i know it's a way for people to be creative so is this new weapons or money something? i mean how much money is <laughs> you know it, it, this is again we're getting to the bottom of that swimming pool and we're picking up those those dimes yep i thought they were, they were pennies now they're dimes that's what he's saying is like now um, there's now 10 times the amount of money now yep. now who's dumb with war it's you. yeah brendan I'm yeah you're dumb. fucking dumb yeah you are actually i'm not Okay. Okay. And we could call. Comeback. Okay, let's call a place. <laughs> and we'll find out who's dumb. Okay. Great comeback. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Funny. Smart. Yeah, that's yeah. good. Okay, you guys. Oh, what are you, a parrot? <laughs> it's like Captain Captain Dumbass and his parrot. Hey. Hey, are you upset? No. Good. Use it. I'm not uh. upset, though. Well, use it for use what? Use it. Use what? My comments? Use it. Thank you for calling use it. the <laughs> library. Please select one of the following options. To War remove tank. I think that is a good idea. Thank you for calling the library. Please select one of the following options. Did she say library? New materials. That sounded or like to it. ask mm. about your library account, press 1. It is library, for isn't it? materials and programs, press 2. For all other materials and research requests, press 3. Imagine if these instructions were hours, just over a text. Four. We'd yeah. be through by for now. All other inquiries, press five. Thanks for making me listen to all that. Oh, man, it's a terrible connection, too. Let's see, let's... Got to start wearing my hat. Hi, H how are you doing today? I'm okay, how are you? I'm doing okay. I'm here with, uh, we're part of a think tank. My, uh, this isn't a sales call or anything. We're calling the library because we have a question. I'm here with John and Hellman. Okay. Hi. So they're both on the line. Hi. Hello. Um, just right off the bat, uh, which one of us here, we'll, we'll all say, a, I'll just introduce myself. We'll each introduce ourselves, okay? And then tell us which one you think is the dumbest out of all three of us, okay? Oh hi. My gosh. Hi, my name's, hi, my name's Brendan. Hello, my name is Hellman. Hello, how are you today? My name is John, and I'm happy to be here. So out of those three introductions, who do you think is the dumbest one? I don't actually feel comfortable answering this question. Okay. But do you have... Which one, see, which one, let's flip it around, let's make this positive. 
which one seems the most smart? I, they're all, they were all very similar, so it doesn't really. I'm Helmet, I'm a woman, no by difference. the way. I don't know if that'll influence your answer at all. And I'm Beeman, I'm a man. John? And I'm John, and I'm a person. So there's another. He's kind of on some, like, you know, hippy-dippy stuff yeah. right now. So do you know what a think tank is? I do, yes. Is it, so are they swimming, are they swimming around in there? We don't, how does it work, I guess? I actually have to help other patrons. Okay. So I'm going to exit this conversation. Okay. Thank you for calling. We're going to do one, one last thing, though. Do you know this statement, um, you can't judge a book by its cover? Well, is, do you agree with that? Because you're a librarian, right? Mm-hmm. So is, what's the best way to judge a book, then, if it's not by its cover? Content. Amen, sister. Okay. Or you know what I would say? Thank the you. reviews included on the book cover. Well, but that's the cover, the right? Quotes. They're the back. Does the back count as a cover? That's a like question Like the little the blurb. Librarian. You know how there's a blurb at the back that'll tell you what the book's about? That's part of the book jacket, I would think. Jacket. Yeah. But the title of the book is generally a good indication of like what the book is, right? Not necessarily. Sometimes the sometimes the cover will like, oh, this is gonna be good. And okay. you read it and it's complete trash. For, just for sake of argument, the Bible. You look at the cover, it says the Bible on it. Now what you you can't judge it from that? You don't know that's well, the what Bible? Well, ju- what are you judging it on if the, if the cover is accurate to what's in the book or if the book ha- is good? I don't know. That's, that's a question. question. For, that's a question for the librarian. So, yeah, it seems like these I last two people are talking have been the patron. dumb ones. Uh, <laughs> sorry, John. So we can so, let you so, go Sorry, now. John, the librarian speaking. I'm not the dumb one, just so you know. It's yeah. definitely the first guy who talked when you, if you, when you answered the phone. And ma'am, before you go, uh, it, and pardon me if, if ma'am is incorrect, to, uh, if you don't want to be addressed that way, but if you saw the three of us, you would be very obvious who the dumb one is. The dumbest What's one. What's that supposed oh, to mean? Man. What's that supposed to mean? Let's see John real quick. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> if you could see this guy... You wouldn't, there would be no, you would, you would have answered that question immediately. But we appreciate your time. Yeah, can't wait to be featured. She judges by content, remember? Okay, thank you. Thank you. She can't wait to be featured on the podcast. How did she know this is a podcast? (laughs) See, librarians are smart. Call her back, say you're smart. Ask her out to dinner. She sounds hot. Maybe I should, yeah, maybe I should ask her. Maybe she should go fuck her. Yo, what the, what? Do you hear this, John? What, the, what is he's that, the, John? Did you hear this? He's betrothed to me. John, and you yet hear this? this is the way he speaks of other women. He wants to go fuck them. No, I didn't say that. John, did you see that? I, I, I think it's very interesting to see the two of you interact because I think neither is taking ownership of, of his or her own behavior. And Let's cut it with in the order bullshit or whatever you're trying to, to do. Cut it with that Excuse shit. me. <laughs> Excuse me? Cut it with this Buddha it's all right. I want to hear what he has to say. To I want to hear what he has to say. Okay. Do you want to get to the bottom of the pool? Or do you want to stay on top drinking the pool? I don't think the there's... I don't think the think tank is in... Okay. And drinking your own pool piss. Okay. Because that's what you're doing now. Well, How's I... How's it working out? <laughs> Good. What urine therapy? It's actually not. It's actually a legitimate thing that people do. I don't do it anymore, but it's not bad for you. I'm glad to hear you're in therapy. I'm not in therapy, <laughs> and that's a zinger. Okay. You should... Hey, did so, I upset you? Tell us more about. No, I am. Use not, it. I'm actually. Use it. Let's, let's Wait, talk about your, um, your new invention some more. Thank you for choosing speaking. How can I help you? Hey, we're with uh, John M. Uh, of the text industries, and he has a new invention where you use your 
an app on your phone to drive your car around with. And he's, he's on the line. He can explain it a little further. John, we That's have correct. We basically, uh, you've heard of the Tesla self-driving cars. We've basically taken that technology and put it in a simple app that you can download on any of your devices. And using that app, it's basically as simple as playing any kind of a car-themed video game. You can hop in the back seat of your own car, mm -hmm. never touch the wheel, never touch the pedal, and just control your ride from there. And what it will allow you to do is it's going to reduce <laughs> your gas mileage. It's going oh, he hung to up kind for of some optimize reason. the route. He hung up for some reason. Let's call him back. So you buy a car, <clears throat> and now you don't even have to sit in the driver's seat. You just yeah, sit in why, the why are you always getting in the back? Okay, can you sit in the front? We don't recommend it. We've had a few issues. because oh, of the accidents? I guess it's Has safer. It, uh, let's just ask this straight up. Has anyone died using this technology? How far let's along Let's get another in call the... in to somebody. How long, how far along into the uh Thank you for testing. calling. For new... Hmm. Wait, I don't I mind harassing these guys because they're all a bunch they're of harassing. fucking scumbags. They're harassers. Oh, he hung up on me again. Okay, well, we'll just go to a different department there. Aknod. Asked, it, what was his name? Herman? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> they all Thank you for calling. Me. Wait while I transfer your call. Hi. Hey, how's it going? Good, are you? Oh, good. We're doing great, actually. We're here, uh, part of a think tank, and uh, John has a... He's calling about the... Um, he has the app that you can drive your car with, and he was. we were told to call you guys about that. Hi, yeah, I can explain a little bit. Uh, my name's John, and um, we've basically taken the technology uh, that you might see, uh, it's kind of, kind of been popularized mostly by Tesla, the self-driving technology. We've put that into an app that can be downloaded on any phone. Um, and uh, in the near future, basically, you will be able to drive your car using just your smart device. You can hop in the back seat. It's gonna optimize routes. It's gonna optimize your gas mileage. Um, and, uh, and you never have to wanted touch. to kind of talk to you about uh, implementation, um, any ideas that you guys had, and if you'd be interested in pursuing a, a relationship. Yeah, we can get it. You can get them for free right now with the new cars or used. Hello. Yeah, we are able to retrofit depending on the model, depending on the. Uh, yeah, know, well, the there's a thing that plugs car, into that kind of the thing. cigarette lighter and. Um, it's a. It's that's the best part. It's compatible with almost every vehicle. Yeah, it's just the thing that you plug into the car, and then you then you use your phone to drive the car instead of uh, <laughs> instead of using the the old antiquated way of using the steering wheel and the gas pedals. And you don't even have to look at the windshield either. Do you, have, you have to look? To watch yeah. where you're going. Oh, because you can just look at your phone. That's exactly right. You look through the phone, and it's yeah. a small device that we attach uh, uh, under the hood. It's no bigger than about a pack of gum. Uh, installation takes about 15 minutes. Well, wait, hold on. Uh, when you're talking about a pack of gum, because gum's coming in like you have, I've seen gum, it comes in like a, a little can almost now. Ice breakers. That's exactly right. Yeah. So it's it, that one size of those, or is it one like, of those cans? But what about like a traditional back pack of gum? Like, like I'm the, thinking like a juicy fruit. Like, I mean, a juicy fruit's extra small. It's like that. Like an yeah. eight slice. Right. And you got the well, like a plenty pack uh, of juicy fruit or or your big red, uh, something like that. What about uh, big league chew? I mean, model. that comes in the in the shape of a bag. Oh yeah, it's like that's right. Like a pouch, tobacco. sort of mimicking the tobacco pouch that baseballers use. Um, but I think Baseball we're getting a little off track here. <laughs> Any of those, you know, it's it's roughly that size. Okay, so so I want to take. I want to go. Baseballers. I just got my my transponder installed. I have to go, so yeah, how it's do you installed. Get the, how do you install I the I get into the car. I turn it on. Okay, you know, most cars have a push-button start. You have to press the brake, push the button. That's right. Then you exit the driver's side and then go to the to the sit in the back. Yes. Okay. So wait. That's right. Okay. Uh, the how other you... thing that we are working on that we'll, we're, we're hoping uh, to, to develop soon is... 
have you ever forgotten to pick up your medication no. or maybe it's late and you needed to drop something off yeah no uh, for your son no um you're already my son's in bed. only three my son's only three, so I didn't. I didn't I've ne- ever... I'm not lying. I've never forgotten to pick up a medication. So try to find. I mean, that's, try to find something that's irresponsible. Else. Yeah. And that's... Okay, how about picking up some food for the family? All right. Yeah, that happens all the time. What's the? Yeah. What's the? Catch what if you here? could What's do it catch? from home without using Uber, without paying those fees? You huh? send what? your car out. You see Batman eighty nine, Tim Burton. No. Yeah. When Batman make the car come and pick him up. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Batman oh. made the car come and pick him up. <laughs> Batman made the car come and pick him up. The Batmobile. Please hold while I try to connect you. Yeah, I've seen that. <laughs> Did you ever hear this song before, John? So you, what you're saying is you can sit at home and drive your car around. Like, like does it look like you're playing Grand Theft Auto is my question. Mm-hmm. There Hi. are a variety of different skins. Oh, John, you hold can on. Put Somebody's on. on the. Sorry. Maybe you're a Hello Kitty fan. We, we'll be able to make it sorry, look ma'am. like a Hello Kitty world. Uh, this is the candy. <laughs> is this candy store? Yes. Okay. Is it, how are you doing today? I'm good. Okay. Um, mm. Yeah, I have Hellman on the line here. Hi. Uh, Hi. We're calling to. Do you have gum there? I'm sorry? Do you have gum? Mm, we have some bubble gums, yes. And do they come, what kind of packs do they come in, I guess? The question. Um, well, we have like the, 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 the tape one, which is the kind of like a roll that you pull out. Oh, I forgot about that. Oh, bubble right. Tape. John, is that what you're talking about when you say it's the size of a pack of gum? Bubble tape? That's a, the, yeah, that's roughly the size. But I was wondering if they had any of the the kind of old school, uh, kind of the double big red pack or juicy fruit pack that I believe was called a plenty pack. Do you have plenty pack? It had a T between plen and pack. No, we do sometimes carry juicy fruit, but we don't have any at this time. Okay. Mm. Did you ever do you? It's guys... out of season, I think. Oh, is it out of season? I think juicy fruit yeah. grows in the summer. Oh. Yeah. 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 I guess it's because we it's We do have winter. bazooka. That's one of our old school guns. Oh, bazooka. Oh, bubble. and that actually goes into, because we were talking, we we're, do you know what a think tank is? No. <laughs> well, it's just like, it's, we're not really too clear on it. It's, I know it's a lot of uh, thinking, people come up with ideas. And, uh, yeah, it's a really... sharing of ideas, a group of usually higher level thinkers from different disciplines that get together, exchange ideas. Uh, usually focused on a yeah. single goal, but but John had an idea for war tank, and that I think bazooka would probably fit in there, right? Yeah, that's why that's where I was going with that. Yeah, and you said you have bazooka right now. Yes, we have. Bazooka. You don't really what, hear what much about. What flavors are there? Because oh, okay. uh, watermelon. There used to be watermelon. Bubble gum, I thought. Oh, is it just bubble gum flavored? Yeah, it's the original bubble gum, but we also have a grape one. Oh damn! Is that the one with the crazy duck with the earring? And like this punk hair. Is that bazooka? Is there a crazy no. duck in there with punk hair? No. <laughs> what about Hubba Bubba? That's another one. Maybe that... that's what I'm thinking of. We do have Hubba Bubba, but that one would be the bubble tape that I was talking about. That's Hubba like Bubba. The, the roll. Hubba Bubba bubble tape? Wait, are we talking about yes. Hubba Bubba bubble tape? Yes. Wait, so it's Hubba Bubba bubble tape? <laughs> yes. For the full uncut episode, head to patreon.com slash world record podcast. For the full uncut episode, head to patreon.com slash world record podcast. Patreon.com slash world record podcast. <laughs>